Yesterday, uh, Pastor Randy gave an absolutely awesome message on influence. And I think we all really want the perks of influence, but are we willing to pay the price of influence? See, I think that everybody really loves the idea of being able to affect somebody else, to be mm, relevant and influential in somebody else's life. But are we willing to pay the price that's involved with being influential in somebody else's life? John Maxwell, this, this great leadership uh, guru, he, he said, uh, he, he told the story one time when he was speaking, was somebody came up after his, uh, his presentation, he, they said, I would love to be like you. And Maxwell has this, this canned response to those because he has many people who ask, I would love to be like you. How can I be like you? And Maxwell says, are you willing to put the work in to become the leader that I am right now? Because I had to put a lot of work in to come to this place. See, most people really love the idea of being influential, but the price that it takes to become influential is often a price they're not willing to make. If we want to make a difference in other people's lives, we need to be willing to pay the price. So why am I, I talking to you today? Well, there are a number of churches that are opening up in our particular area. And they're opening up based upon guidance from some governmental officials. And, and that guidance is, is true and real. And, and the uh, churches want to open up. And it's great. They have every right to gather. But the reason why New Beginnings is not opening up at this point in time is we believe that although it's our right to be able to gather, it's our right to be able to uh, worship together, we we're, are going to lay down our rights so that we can allow other people to understand and know that we care about their physical well-being as much as their spiritual well-being. Teddy Roosevelt said something that was just an absolutely awesome um, saying that we really need to keep in mind. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. People really don't care how much we can spiritually help them until they know that we physically want to help them, that we care about who they are and what's going on in their life. And at, only at that point in time are people willing to open up and to receive some of the truths that we're able to offer to them. So what do we do at this point in time? Well, at this stage, we are going to be uh, following the state guidance and most likely, churches are going to be reopening in phase four. We're presently in phase one. And we have to meet criteria in order to advance from phase one to phase two and phase two to phase three, phase three to phase four. And each one of these criteria takes two weeks. So at it, very earliest, it's going to be July that we reopen. So what do we do in the meantime? I propose to you that we strengthen our small groups, our, our life groups in the meantime. If you are not in a life group, you can get involved with a life group. There are a number of life groups available. And there are going to be life group leaders as well as members who are going to be reaching out to other people. I hope that you join a life group. If you're already in a life group, I think that life groups are going to be our vehicle by which we make a difference in our community. And we are looking to try to see how we can make a difference in projects. It could be a food pantry in, in uh, Oneida or Canastota that we try to help out. It could be uh, the YMCA and trying to do something with the Y. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like for your life group, but I know there's a project for your life group, and it's going to be a good project that you can make a difference in. Once again, coming back to this idea, we influence people by our willingness to forego our rights and to invest into their life so that they can understand that we really care about them 
And at that point in time, they'll get to the place where they really care about what we know. I hope you have a great day.